Next up, Ingrain. Ali, come on up here. Take it away. Thanks. Hi, everybody. My name is Ali. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ingrain, where we do uh, virtual product placements to solve the online video monetization problem. Product placement is one of the most effective ways of monetizing video content. It's been around for ages, and we've seen that in movies and TV for a long, long time. But the problem is, uh, so, and today it's over $7 billion industry. And because of the recent video on demand and native advertising con uh, trends, it's expected to grow double in the next five years. Pro product placement is either done by physically placing objects in the scene or by retroactively inserting, in, inserting objects in the post-production phase. The problem with both these approaches is once you've placed an object in the scene, it remains there for the rest of the life of the video. So we believe it's not ready for digital platforms. So the problem is you don't get any targeting, campaign control, or measurement capabilities, and the whole process is extremely time consuming and inefficient. The solution that we're proposing is uh, in Grain, where we, do, where we use computer vision to do dynamic product placement. What we do is, instead of inserting objects at production or post-production phase, we insert objects in a video while a person is watching the video. And that gives us a lot of power. Because we know the person, we know the video, we know the, the, the details about the person, we can do targeting, we can show relevant and targeted ads. Uh, we give full campaign control capabilities to both advertisers and the publishers, and we reduce the overall turnaround time for traditional product placement. Now, if you think about it, we are essentially democratizing and making product placement scalable using this platform because now a local coffee chain owner can have their brand placed in John Stewart's Daily Show's next episode by using this platform. And this is exactly what Google did a couple of, uh, a decade ago uh, with, with display ads. So our strategy is to work very closely with publishers and help them monetize their content because they're struggling with it. And we make money by taking a percentage of all the revenue that they earn from uh, using our platform. We're already live. Uh, our, our first pilot just went live about uh, three, three to four days ago. Our technology is already in 100,000 mobile apps, uh, 100,000 uh, uh, com consumer devices. And we're doing two more pilots, uh, right, uh, two more proof of concepts right now, one with uh, and one of them is TF1, which is the largest uh, media channel in France. So here's an example of, of, of the placements that we do. Uh, now, if you, if you want to do something like this, you really, if you want to place a new object in the scene, you, re you really want to know what's already there in the scene. And that's exactly where we come in as a team. It's not working. Oh. So our secret sauce is, is the scene recognition and understanding technology, which lets us understand what's already there in the scene. We figure out the planes, surfaces, uh, people, background, foreground, camera movements, everything in the scene to, to, to figure out the locations that we want to use for, for these placements. And to do all of that, we have a great team. Uh, two PhDs, two masters, over 35 years of state-of-the-art computer vision research. Uh, combined with experience of selling, uh, selling in AdWorld and uh, doing a product together. And we've been supported by Google for Entrepreneurs. We are part of Black Box Accelerator Program in Silicon Valley. And we raised some angel investment from Kima Ventures a couple of months ago. And that's about it. So again, you should be yeah. here. Here's another demo that can go running while you are still. OK, congratulations. Well done. Judges, who wants to kick it off? So uh, tell us a little bit more about the publishers. How do you integrate with the publishers? Are you aimed at uh, the big TV uh, networks, or are you looking at more mid, long tail content publishers? Right. Uh, so online view space is huge. We have Hollywood movies on one end, and then cat videos on the other end. We can't uh, get into all of this, that. So we're initially focusing on these talking head scenarios uh, that makes bo a strong there's a strong case for us because both business-wise and uh, in terms of technology, uh, because and, and in this particular scenario, in talking head scenarios, it's these media guys and uh, video bloggers. The idea is these are the people who are producing content very frequently and they want to monetize the content, so it makes sense for us to go after these 
people. The idea is uh, we take the video content, process it, and uh, start inserting ads when viewers watch them. Do you do you integrate with any player? Are you, are you platform agnostic for that? I mean, you know, cracking into the larger players like YouTube, it's right. going to be more challenging, and that's a large part of the content that's out there. So how do you think about the player side? So uh, the idea is, uh, what we've done is we've created a very, very small SDK that goes into mobile apps. So anybody who has a mobile app uh, can integrate our SDK and start using this technology. But the <coughs> challenge is not in terms of technology, but business-wise. Uh, and and we're f the, the market that we're going after, uh, these are the people who own their content, they have their own apps, so it's easier for them to uh, integrate the the, the, the smallest again, their apps, and the, that's how we start working. So, when you're selling this to the publishers, what's the argument uh, to go with your technology versus all the other um, options they have now? And also, could you walk us through what a transaction looks like? You know, how much you're charging them, what you make, what what a sample transaction would be? Uh, absolutely. So, uh, right now, the way publishers monetize content online is either by using uh, either by subscriptions or by showing pre rolls or banner ads. Uh, the whole idea is, th our pitch to publishers is, uh, if you want to give content away for, for free, you have to show ads to cover your costs. And pre-rolls and banners don't earn a lot of money. And, and they're super annoying for, for users. It's a, it's a really, really bad user experience. So that's the pitch to, to the publishers. Uh, the way we, th this whole transaction takes place is, uh, takes place is we don't, we don't disrupt the normal user's viewing experience or, or the, or the normal flow of how the video is distributed and consumed. A publisher uploads a video on their server, a user uses a mobile app to access that video. That remains there. <coughs> what we do is, as soon as the video is uploaded, we take a copy of that video uh, and we process it uh, to figure out the spots where we can place ads. And we create some metadata for that particular video. And once that video, and, and as soon as the, as the user starts playing that video, we serve that metadata uh, using our SDK uh, and we serve the ad. On, on, on the mobile end. Why did you want to solve this problem? Because we really hit it. Uh, but, but you personally, what, what, what was it about video? What, do you have a background in video? Do you have a particular interest in video? Why? Uh, the reason for me was I, I, I really hated pre-rolls, and, and we wanted to see a better way to, I wanted to get rid of them. Do you ever worry that uh, you know you're making making things up, and and so you know, uh, let's say John Stewart, you know, hates Starbucks, and you whack the Starbucks logo on his cup, and he gets very upset, or consumers feel like you're selling them visual lies. Is this concerning? Uh, so there are two parts to this question. One is from the publisher's end, and one from the consumer end. Uh, from the publisher's end. Uh, they have full control over what, what gets placed. So if John Stewart does not like Starbucks, we will not place it in, the, in, in, in his content. So we guarantee that using our platforms, uh, using the campaign control capabilities, and that's the whole point. Uh, and from the, from the consumer end, consumers never like ads. They don't like pre-rolls, they don't like banner ads. So it's just another way of monetizing uh, the content, and they understand that. So it's 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 a choice for them. They either have the they can pay for the for the same content or they can watch an ad to view the same content. We um, believe it's the most uh, it's it's the least annoying uh, format of ads for a consumer. For, for a consumer. Um, how difficult would it be to for Google or any of your competitors to start doing that, and how much time do you give them to start doing that? Uh, I think uh, we uh, so. I don't know about Google because I have... Uh, 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 with other competitors, I, the, the closest company that we've seen working in the space is... Uh, they, they take about two weeks to process one video. We do it in 30 minutes in terms of technology. And what they do in terms of just inserting an app. Second part is they can't. They don't do virtual. Uh, they, they don't do dynamic placements. What they do is they insert an ad, and then that ad becomes a part of the video content. There is no aspect of dynamic uh, placement in their in their technology. So I I I've, I think it will be pretty 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 hard to 
uh, to catch up with us uh, with, with, with all the stuff that we've been able to do. Uh, one last question, then go for it. So this has existed in the video game space for a while. How successful has that been? Um, video, uh, so I know one company which has been doing this for, uh, for videos. Uh, I've met the founders. They, video has inherently a different, different format of engagement. Uh, so, sorry, uh, games have, have a different format of engagement. While a, when, a, when a person is watching, is, is playing a game, uh, I, it, it's hard to get, get him engaged to, get, get the person engaged to the, to the ads. So, uh, but they, the companies have been doing good. I don't have exact numbers on them, uh, but they're doing good business. That's all I know. Okay, well done. Thank you very much.